Hello, hello, and welcome back to Tape Heads. We are going to discuss uh, a couple different things. I think I'm going to show off some tapes that I've gotten pretty excited about, and then hopefully you guys got some stuff. And then we're going to look at some recent sales and uh, just talk some tapes. So let me roll our intro. <laughs> Hello, hello, Pablo Jackson. Thank you for being here. Hey, guys. Hello. Good to be here. Okay, so where do we want to start? You guys have any fun new stuff you want to show me? I have some stuff. Do you have some stuff, Jackson, you want to show? A little bit, but you can go first. All right, I'll go quick, like always. I have five tapes. I don't know if I showed you this one before, but this is one of my favorite covers. Bride of Frankenstein. For sure. Iconic. Now, this one has the side watermarks. Still love that. It's good, but the one that you want, obviously, is with the front and back watermarks will be ideal, but this is an iconic movie. Then I have one of my favorite movies, like body horror movies. The Fly. The Fly. I mean, it's, it's a remake. It was a fly with Vincent Price, I think, in 1958 or something like that, but this one is by David Cronenberg and with Jeff Goldum and, and Gina Davis. Absolutely. I love this movie so much. Um, I think it wasn't that bad too. Why watermarks guy, not blue watermarks for the love of God and Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. For the last time, do not buy with blue watermarks unless you buy them for $1. Now it's not full moon. Oh my god. Oh, the history of the wolf man. Like these strange like look like they were drawn by a sixth grader covers. Yeah, this I drew it and then I, I passed it in my now. Look at that red shirt. Okay, ready for the Oscars, my man. That is bizarre. Is bizarre cover. And this is my absolutely favorite society. Oh, promotional tape and the oscars are on sunday march 12 and this is what i think of the oscars uh, this is why i think rich people dude that's awesome that's yeah. awesome did you snag that on ebay recently yes oh, i was watching that <laughs> well, the one that I actually saw i think i saw one this one but i did buy this one on the bay uh, a few weeks back. So it is from the Bay, oh, okay, but okay. not the one that, that you saw. Not the one that just sold. This yeah, okay. One of, the, this is one of the craziest movies that you ever see. And the last one, I'm going to have to give a oh, shout oh, out. Yes. Our Rewind voice, uh, Dan Allegra, with these amazing cases. I have never seen that before. So I really wanted to buy one of these sealed and Nico was like, yeah, but the movie was terrible. And I'm like, who cares? Terrible. Yes. <laughs> How bad was it? Captain America. Yeah, it was, it was bad. Like Jaws the Revenge bad or? Yeah. No. You're oh, talking man. Yeah. And this is, this came a year after Batman, you know, with Michael Keaton. So I don't know what Marvel was trying to do here, but <laughs> this is, I mean, if you look at the rest call, I mean, the makeup is like a giant turd. They tried. Oh, yeah, it all looks so dope in that. Yeah, he looks good. Oh yeah, he looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, for for the fans of of Captain America, this is the the original movie. It's like for you know, Batman Begins is, is two thousand and five, but then you think of Michael Keaton, you think Chris Evans, Captain America, but this one uh, with Chris Salinger, I think is the name of the actor. But it's, it's a really bad movie. I'm glad I've never seen it. Yeah. Wow. Waste your time. <laughs> and that's it for me, guys. Cool beans. Let's see. Let's put Jackson on the spot. Hey, we got JP. Let's show this Empire Strikes Back tape. Oh, nice. It's the first print Canadian, though. But oh. Beauty. There's the, the two-tone. What's the back cover? It's got the white watermarks waterfall. So when it's waterfall, that means it's Canadian, Maya, or, or Jackson? Well, that? That's not from sure, the general consensus. On there. 
Mm. That has been the general consensus I've heard from most people, but I cannot confirm that. I'm not familiar with the, a lot of the Canadian prints. Does it say Canadian, Jackson? It comes, it, there's a Canadian sticker on the bottom yeah. that it was put on there. Yeah, so that's, I, I believe when I see something like a little sticker from Canada, or it says Canada, like the, the, the Pulp Fiction, you can see that it says Canada. So I... You know, I know I've spoken with some guys, like they say, when, when you see that waterfall uh, watermarks. But if I don't see any sticker from Canada, I'll take it as a U.S. release. But that's that's me. I got it for a really good deal. And it's just finding one of those is so tough. Mm. All right, what else you got, senor? This was the other. Whoa. Ooh. It's Love the, this. Well, it's not the first print, but this is the first print of this of this. Uh, gold series, though. Yeah, the gold series. They've actually, I know we always advise against people buying the ones that say like special collection edi edition or whatever, but these gold series ones have actually Only been doing really well. They have the waterfall mark. Never side. Yeah. But like Maya said, you know, like some collectors, they might go for the for that golden series. They look good, you know, if you display them. And obviously, if you cannot afford the, the first prints of those movies, right. like you can go for those affordable prices and and that you know i can see that happening what else you got yeah, they've, they've actually been selling pretty I bought good, one of so. these i maybe paid too much for it but with a later release i love that i yeah. like that it's the I 89 it. one but i'm like i've never they're so hard to get one Still. of these just sold in heritage auction too and i felt like it went for way less than it should have how much was it maya like 500 let me see at least 600 I think you got something good there, Jackson. I mean, obviously, it's not like a rare tape because of yeah, the years. It's a way later release, but it's still cool. Again, for the indie collectors, the Harrison Four fans, um, that's what is is good. Pablo's yeah. favorite movie. What is that? The Land of what? Land Before Time. Never seen that movie. You've never seen that? No. The Land Before Time? It's an uncirculated copy, too. Wow. So, yeah, Land Before Time. That must be just like a millennial thing. No, it's the first print. Why can I not find that? That was definitely in Heritage's auction. I know it was. It's uh, titled Great Movie Stunts. Ah, okay. Yep, and that's the why I think of. I think Pablo. It was a beta. It was beta. Was it a gatefold? There we go. Let me see. Sorry, guys. There is okay. a gatefold. A gatefold does exist of that Raiders making. Let's see. The Land Before Time. Is that a cartoon? Animation? Yeah. Kind of. And this is an uncirculated one, too. So that's why I kind of wanted it, too. Oh, there you go. So that yeah. Raiders sold for good money. Yeah, it went pretty. And this was a beta. I feel like if it's. It was you 82. Have the so this would have been one of the earlier ones. Is that a VHS that you have, though? Yeah, this one's a VHS. Yeah, I feel like the VHS is worth more. The betas have not been doing as well as you would think. Even even like some people think, oh, the betas are earlier, but they just haven't been beta to VHS. I feel like the VHSs always go for more. So, yeah, this one I got was an '89 edition, but I'm like, it's still cool. It is cool. Yeah, and then last one, the Kong tape that I already showed. Ooh. That was the Heritage win. A beauty. Very cool. 85. Another beta. 85, right? Yeah, it's 85. Very cool. All right, let me see what I got for you guys. I got a whole box. Okay, so I bought this, right? Hoping, because I didn't pay very much for it, but I was hoping that the tapes on the inside of it would all be sealed, right? It's a whole box set of tapes. And it has the wire in nice. it. Nice. So I was hoping that they would be individually sealed so I could just open it and take the wire out because I don't give a shit about, you know, like Sex and the City and like whatever. But um, they're not. They're not individually sealed. So now I have this giant sealed block of tapes that I don't know what to do with. But how do you know they are not sealed if you have a seal? Well, because you can just tell in there that it's like not wrapped. Can you grade it that way? I don't know. I don't know who. I don't know who would want to display this. this <laughs> Graded though, like this. Like I don't know. I was just. I was hoping 
but you can tell just like looking under the this first layer of plastic that they're not wrapped in them. Yeah, I know, Jackson. You got the two and a half man, right? I did win that. I saw that on eBay in my search results, and one popped up, and I bought it immediately. All right, so this one's kind of cool. It's Tales from the Crypt, uh, Demon Knight, but it's like a promo tape. Nice like sneak peek tape. Well, my like man, Billy Zane. Yeah, it's got side watermarks on the side. But it's a promo. Very nice, man. Yeah, yeah. It's like a sale, <laughs> rental, or in-store play prohibited. That's a mm -hmm. horror movie, right there. That's like that's a solid horror movie. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was cool, even though it's like later. You did a good job in that movie. Uh, okay, so I picked this up. And it's again, it has side watermarks. Um, Hulk Hogan, the Hogan, my hero, but um, yeah, side watermarks. I'm sure there's one with back watermarks, but again, I didn't pay very much for this one, so I was like, yeah, you know, why not? It's got the seal on the bottom, too, like this little sticker thing, nice. shiny, beautiful. Uh, let's see. Oh, got this one, nice shirt, Metallica, always. Astro and then Nico got this one for me a little while ago. This is my absolute favorite Christmas movie ever. I've the never Grinch. Seen that before. I well. love it. It's a little beta. Well, that's the 80s. Yes, yeah. I was very excited. I love it. That's cool. I've never seen seen that kind of box. And then my favorite. That's recent. Ta -da! <laughs> oh. And girl, very excited. Congrats, Maya. I'm ecstatic. I have been like had the little notification on eBay for one of these to pop up since I started collecting tapes. I've been looking for this, and then Pablo just casually texts me and he's like, Hey, look at this. And I was like, How did you find that? So, of course, I immediately like bought it. Um, yeah, and I get it, it doesn't have watermarks, it's got like the sticker. On the bottom, like the seal sticker at the bottom. Yeah, I think the '90s movies. Uh, it also depends on what is the the production. They, yeah. they don't have marks. Like Roll House, I, I think is the same way. The so seal certain... on the back though looks legit. Like it's got like a center seam. Yeah, I don't think yeah. MGM uh, from that era. So many they they definitely have the MGM, but some they just had that sticker and that's it. It's so weird too, like. First of all, I love Tank Girl. And like when I saw this movie, I like, I don't know, maybe like 11 or 12 years old, I was like, I want to be a Tank Girl when I grow up, right? And this movie also came out the year I was born. So I love this movie. Um, and I've only ever seen one other one. Somebody's got one on eBay for like 900 bucks or something. So yeah. I was pretty pumped to get this one. Yeah, that's a great cover. But oh, that movie yeah. has so many problems. Like they, they have to, they cut so many uh, scenes. I love so. it. But still, it's a cult classic. A, a lot of people love this movie. It's funny, too, because this movie supposedly takes place in 2033. So I'm like... It's I'm there. <laughs> and then, of course, I have to show you guys these uh, because they took forever to get here, but they're not sealed. This is just for my open collection. Check these out. Nice. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, I got four of them. Well, there is a single four. tape, right? Also, Maya, or or these are sets like it's uh, a set. There's like four tapes in them. Yeah, but that and these unfortunately are PALs. They're not NTSC because I can't find the NTSCs anywhere. But I was like, I need Futurama on VHS. Like I have to have it. So I finally found them. Wrong country, but still, I'm ecstatic. <laughs> yeah, you say. PAL, right? P A L. Yeah, P A L. They're not NTSC. P A L is, uh, I think, from it's South America, so and Europe probably a couple of countries that you can play them there, but not on the American systems. Yeah, they make uh, VCRs that will play both. Apparently. Oh, yeah. So now I'm on the lookout for one of those. But I'm like, I don't even care. I don't even care if I just have them for display purposes. I I've wanted them for so long, and I'm sure eventually, I will find. The NTSC ones. There is so. the one that single tape, but I, I wonder if that single tape that we saw is that from a set or is that from? I think that single tape 
if we're talking about the same one, was yeah. the pilot episode, which wow. would be so cool. That would be the big one, yeah. Yeah, that would be stellar. But anyway, that's all I had. Let me see if I can pull up the sales. Yeah, I was looking at the comments section, and we already realized that we're reco recording. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are we looking for Pablo? All right, let me see. Here we go. All right. So here's the gremlins that we were all talking about. Oh, yeah. Um, and it is, in fact, the first print, I believe, because it has the two-tone tape and the sticker. So I feel like that's a pretty decent price for that. I don't remember what the other one sold for. We just saw one sell at auction not long ago. Yeah. But that seemed pretty cool. Um, I think one of these just sold at auction, too. These star videos, dude. I feel like people love this sticker. Yeah, those stickers usually, again, that tells you. It's I always thought that was the first print for Gremlins with a star sticker. Mm, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, no, the first print Gremlins definitely two-tone. Without counting, like you said, I want the two tone, but the the star sticker and wrap around watermarks probably will make it second technically, or first depends how you see it. Like yeah, it, they will pay you more for the star sticker wrap around versus wrap around without the star sticker. Gremlins is just that weird one because it was in that Warner Brothers transition period between clams and slips. So, oh wow, that went for cheaper than I thought. What? Nineteen ninety three. I just saw one from a hundred thousand dollars. I I was trying. To... <laughs> it was for two tapes, though. Two tapes. The Goonies. I don't really understand. I never knew why it went for a ton of money to begin with. I mean, this one doesn't have wraparounds, which is obviously the one that everybody's looking for. But this is definitely a later release, I think. Yeah, it's got the it's sticker. And I tell. Oh, oh yeah, it says I agree with you. I agree with you, Maya. Like this is. Um, That's just one I don't get. 86 so it's not a it's not a scare state by any means so it's uh it's gonna be a lot of these popping into the market so the market would will come down on this tape that's my opinion yeah that seems like a ridiculous place, price to pay for a 90s tape that isn't like a promo or a demo or you know what i mean like i don't get it but but i also say that about the teenage mutant ninja turtles tape and it continues to hold its value so we'll see this one's cool too first print grease yeah. I know Mikey loves this tape. I uh I like this one because it's super easy to identify. Like it, the first print's got the yellow. Yeah. See it from a mile away. Yeah, personally it's uh oh, wait, I know we have a lot of a lot of fans for this one, but look no. at that. This guy's smart. Oh, he posted the last picture. He uses the Heritage Soul listing. Yeah, most recent comp for Heritage. That was you really smart. You do it. And he got the same price, basically. Yeah, but this one was a lower That's grade. His was a higher yeah. grade. That's uh, smart, dude. I'm going to do that. I, I think Ray does the same thing. Shout out to you, Ray. I, I know you put he puts the his Instagram on the last picture. That's smart. Chrome well, slaps. Ray's listings. Brilliant marketing. So I don't understand this. The magnetic videos are going wild. I can't believe people are paying hundreds of dollars just because they're magnetic video. I mean, for I guess for historical value, I get that because they are like the pioneer of home video, but like amazing apes. You know, Maya, I mean, Jackson and I, we, we come from comics. So this is like looking golden age comics where, right. again, this is 1977 where... Again, like buying a 1940, 1941 Golden Age comic book. Not, not, not all of them they are valuable, but many of them, like you say, for historical purposes, the origin of VHS. This has beautiful watermarks. Yeah. Um, so, Which also, this looks like an or orangutans considered apes. I don't know. You got me there. What? Amazing apes, but it's Again, definitely an orangutan. <laughs> I know there's one. Um, I mean, there's a lot of these magnetic videos, but that that cover, I wouldn't pay more that much money for it. I hope that this is fake too. If if not, somebody got screwed big time. Um, what? No watermarks. <laughs> oh no! Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. This Wait. is definitely not the one you want at all. Somebody bought the '94 version, which is twenty-five dollars uh, at best. I feel like uh, this can't be real though. 
Like, where are the bidders at? Sometimes the guys are like uh, right there, ready to pull the trigger, and they saw Back to the Future, and maybe they thought they were. I don't know. This was this was an auction, though. That's why I'm like, mm, I don't know. It just oh, like seventy-eight bids. Yeah, I feel like that was totally nonsense. Yeah, no, that was probably that guy with the zero. This one. guy, yeah, has all zero reviews. I feel like this is one hundred percent just fucking nonsense. And that's, that's the you, other thing, guys. You can tell with these auctions. Like, if you look at an auction only has one bid, it's probably junk. You know, like this Disney one that I just scrolled past. This is stupid. Obviously fake, not real. But then also, like, this one that had 78 bids. But you look at it and zero feedback. Yeah, it's fake. You know what I mean? Like, it's not hard to discern. Very good, my I, I agree. Like, you see a lot of these Disney tapes also yeah. for all this money. And it's either fake or they use some some tax evasion bullshit or it's not legit at all yeah this money laundering in there that's what people say oh dude nico's so upset about this he wanted this so bad so was he on the, the underbidder on this one i don't think he even bid on it because i've been telling him he's not allowed to buy any tapes right now <laughs> i'm like once we get settled in a new office then you can go back to buying tapes so is that a good price on this one? I don't know, Maya. You know Dude, more. I don't know. I've never. I know, I've only ever seen like one other one with white watermarks, and I don't remember what it went for. But I again, like it wasn't cheap because Nico's been wanting it, and like he didn't get it the last time, and he didn't get it this time either. So I'm like, I feel like they definitely were both over five six hundred bucks because otherwise he would have ended up with it. Someone offered me one for a grand, but I don't remember if it had the white marks on it or something. Mm, I've definitely seen the blue watermark ones. Those ones aren't as rare, but the white watermark, yeah, that's that's if only you, the second one I've seen. If you find the pictures again, Jackson, whoever offered you that tape, and he, if he had the blue watermarks, let me know because I'm going to punch him in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> you probably know the guy, so. No, I, I mean, if, if I know who I think it is, then um, he's a good guy, but hopefully he knows what he's doing by offering you the white watermarks. But but at that price, it was probably blue watermarks. But um, I don't know. So let's see. Yeah, this see, one look, has the waterfall. Yeah, that recorded one, in Canada. There it is. Yeah. So uh -huh. That's you see. That's a good point. Now that when you see some some probably they removed that little sticker they they recorded in Canada. So then. When you see that waterfall like that, then you you see that he's uh, Canadian. I feel like that's a really good price on that tape for uh, being Canadian. Yeah, that's like a that's a pretty good price for that. Yeah, and that's a great. Have you seen that movie, Maya Jackson? Oh, of course, yes. Jackson? Oh uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. No, no, that's nineteen seventy four. So you know, there's a uh, there's a key video print of this too. Yeah. But that's the 85. So I think the, the key video is actually after this one. Mm, okay. And that's when a lot of people, when they, because when you see those key videos, it's like Vestrums. Like you think it's the first, mm -hmm. right? but you have to be careful. Many of them are first prints, but like Young Frankenstein is one of those. It looks amazing on those key video cases. But technically, this CBS Fox is 84 and the key video is 85. So you should get this one. Or pay more for this one than a key video release for sure. That's, that's as far as I know. So this, I want to assign it to my heritage so I can see what the other Rocky sold for. I think it was like twenty two something. Um, but I wanted to compare how these were different. But this one, I don't know if this one sold or he pulled this them. Was out. the one with the guy wanted to take it off and grade it, right? I think he, he pulled them out. So I, I don't think this really sold for this. Um, uh, no, he did. He pulled it. He pulled it. Okay. But uh, I, don't know I what... wanted to compare it with the one that sold on Heritage. Oh. I can do that here. Um, oh, there's a difference. What's the difference? Because, I, well, I thought that they were marketing this one. On one. Right. Right. Like, I think this one is actually the first print on the left. But really? Yeah, because it's got the little thingy here. And the other one doesn't, right? And the other one what does not have that. Shit. But maybe it's the other way around. Maybe it's the one that doesn't have is the first. I don't know. I don't know either. That's that's interesting. I thought when I saw this in 
because this is a drawer box that I, I when it was in heritage i thought this is the first print right like that's i just assumed like that's why it was a big deal because it was the first print but then when i saw this one i'm like i don't know this one looks earlier to me all right pablo that that uh big trouble in little china had the blue watermarks <laughs> This is go direct to I didn't buy it. I'm glad I did not buy it. Directed to that person's nose. Bing. Yeah. Son so of crazy a on that. Yeah, they were none of those were uh, none of those had the little little thingy. But now I'm curious to see what happens with this one too. Like I can't I can't even blame this guy. When I was watching this and he pulled the auction, at first I was like, what a dick. Like I'm so mad. But then I'm like, you know, if if I weren't into VHS. And stumbled across this and put it on eBay and it hit fifteen thousand dollars. I would probably pull it and send it to an auction house too. Like, holy shit, that's a lot of money to just be like, I'm gonna honor eBay's terms and services. Like, especially if you're not in the hobby, you know, you're like, what the fuck does he care? I don't blame the, the guy. Seller's like, information, like, does he have other stuff on there? I don't know. That's right. a good point. I think the story is interesting too. Like, because I, I well, did. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, Jackson. I'm just. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy has over four thousand reviews. And he doesn't have like any other like here's some open shit like some Wait. random you know what I mean he looks like an estate sale guy like clearly not a tape guy has no idea what he had no you know you know the story I think somebody shared on the group Maya that I think he he got these through um uh, he went to one of these uh, Goodwill the mm -hmm. Goodwill the the outlet stores oh my and God. you wait, you wait for the media um, you know they bring these little big bins. And everybody's waiting there to jump, you know, because again, goodwill they probably take a couple of things, but then they have so much stuff coming in that they just have these outlets and, and right. he found these. They sell them by the pound. I cannot fucking believe that. That's like I feel like the chances of finding this are, are harder than like winning the fucking lottery. Like that guy should that guy should buy a lottery ticket. Yeah, he's poor big time. But, and again, this is the beauty about VHS, by the way. Like you, you're gonna see a lot of these in the coming months and, and years where you think you've seen it all, or, or it's gonna be tapes or it's gonna be surprising. A lot of people they're coming from collections from the OG collectors. You're gonna mm -hmm. see stuff from producers, from directors, from actors. You're gonna see stuff from the from VHS collectors that they collect open and seal stuff by accident. Uh that will blow your mind. So I was bidding on the Matrix too, but oh, that is that the for your consideration? Yeah, right? yeah, I love those for oh, your consideration tapes. That. I love the okay, yeah, I love those. What? What's with that Jurassic Park? No, come uh, on. There's one. Bid. They don't have one bid, so it's probably nonsense. You bid. you bid on that one, Jackson. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only looking for JP two and three promotions. That's it. There's your tape, Pablo. I love this movie so much. Yeah, this is like Pablo's one exception for the 90s. Yeah, I, and again. And Nuki. What? Uh, Nuki. <laughs> <laughs> again, like 90s guys, like I said, you, you like Raccoon, David, always said, you know, buy what you want, what you like, and I agree. It's just that don't pay too much money because there is a lot of these out there. That's that's my one take. Dude, now I got to look up to this risky business. Is a that the first slipcase release, right? I don't know if it is. Oh, it, this used to be a big box or a clamshell of, of risky business. Uh, definitely, this is not the first release for sure. Yeah, let me see. I know there was one that just sold in the Heritage auction. And but... whoever, put, if she or he put 93 on the title, I mean, risky business came yeah, in. Yeah. Or 84. There we go. That's the first release. That's the first one. But yeah. this is a beta. Yeah. The VHS should be the same cover, and she had that silver sticker too, I think. Right. Yeah. Uh, and this and is that one for almost three grand. So I guess that's not a bad price on a on a wraparound slip right. case. Yeah. A wraparound this, watermark slip case. This is the movie that put Tom Cruise on the map. So I'll, for the for the Tom Cruise fans, this is a big tape. Yeah, I guess it's not a bad price for that. Although ninety three. Yeah. No. It's yeah ninety three. That can't be right. There's uh, no way that's a 93. No, okay, they just did a typo here. Yeah, probably definitely a typo. 83, but it's not even 83. This is probably an 86. 86, or, yeah. You know, and with the wraparound like that, it's the first slipcase release. So yeah, 
Yeah, I would say that. Luck, good luck finding that clamshell. That's when it gets in, in to make the analogy with comic books, it's, it's golden age level where but they are definitely scares. Oh my not... god. <laughs> oh, this is from February 7th. Okay. I was like, another one? No, this is the same one. Jesus. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. Oh, what about back, back in February now? What about the phantasm? Do you see that Is phantasm? It? Wow, that's yeah, pretty cool. Embassy? embassy? It better have the big chunky watermarks. Oh, I do. Yeah, I think this oh, is. Yeah. Nice. Uh, this is a, cool. uh, it's a good movie too. Yeah, that's that's cool. Well, cool. Yeah, I guess I won't scroll back any further. I just realized we're in the February. Uh, I just usually put it like above three hundred bucks, but uh, wait, let me take it off the auction and see if anything's sold in the buy it now. Possible. What? Oh wow! Wait, Mario? Well, I guess that movie's gonna be a hit or something. Mario yeah, Bros. Eh? That's a '93 movie, so again, be careful buying the Super Mario's for a lot of money, unless you're giving a super high grade. And even then, you wanna be, you wanna be. Cautious. I think it's because of this movie coming out. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> another one. Strange, oh. strange to me. Yeah. Which is weird because the uh, Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, those are better movies and and they're not selling for that money. Oh my god, four hundred dollars worth of sealed Playboy tapes. I'll take them. Wow. <laughs> you can't open them. Oh, and look at the one above, Maya. The one above the Playboys. That's it tells from the Quadet Zone. Yeah, but it's like a reprint. No, I know, yeah, but that's the holy grail for the horror collectors out there. This is the, the movie that all the horror collectors they wanna they consider this the action comics number one for VHS. And this is a reprint. Yeah. So anything by Massacre Video, you do not want to buy. Right. Those are reissues, all of them. Yep. So uh and including this one, but this movie is is insane. And it's it's extremely hard to get. Like they say that it's under 20 copies out there. Deck. Yeah, here's the one I was talking about. That's oh, that's, that's society. I think I pay closer to this because this is a, a screener or mm -hmm. a demo tape. So you do have the, the one that it doesn't have that uh, demo. So, Dude, there's no way somebody paid 10 grand for this. That's Mikey. Oh, my God. You're probably right. Mikey. Mikey. For 10,000. <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh, there's no way. Theater. That's insane. That and they're all sealed? Or, or buy it now? No, that was a buy it now. Yeah. I can't tell. Like, part of you wants to be like, nah, that's fucking fake. But also, <laughs> they're all sealed. The whole collection. Oh, look, like a raccoon. Wait. No way. Oh. Hello, hello. Wow. Yeah. David. David. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. You look like a Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> Jedi Mapache look. You've been busy writing. What are you writing about? Uh, my great American trash panda novel. Oh. Yeah. We're going to buy it. We're going to buy it when it's releasing uh, Barnes & Noble next next year. Yeah. Oh, look at that Nightmare on Elm Street 3. I love that movie. That's my favorite movie from the whole Ooh, series. I wonder what that one actually sold for. I hate that they didn't sell it. Jackson, David, have you seen all the Nightmare on Elm Street guys? Yeah, not all of them, but most. Well, this is a Canadian version too. I'll take it anyway. You, Maya, have you seen all of the Nightmare on Streets or not? No, I've only seen the first two. The chest, the oh first man, time. you have to watch this one, Maya. This one is the best. This is the only. This is like. I mean, I'm not a fan of Nightmare on Elm Street, but that's like the best one by far. Yeah. The best one by far. I mean, not by oh, far. The first one is, is iconic. Is that all glued, like together? They're all glued together. First of all, what is it? This is fucking. Hey. This is fucking dumb. Yeah, oh, fucking hell dumb. no. I've never what seen that. I guess that's a new thing. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, they've been doing that like since oh. they started, but, you know. Yeah, I don't think it's good. But look, if you have a trilogy, if you're a trilogy guy, like Back to the Future, The Godfather, maybe even the three Indiana Jones movies, and, and, you, and you are just a fan of that, and you want to display them like this, you know, Beckett does it for you, but I don't think it looks well, good. Well, like, East, I guess, if that's your you know what floats your boat but yeah not a fan of that yeah first of all what the fuck 
<laughs> Secondly, <laughs> wrong tapes. Wrong tapes. <laughs> and last, what the fuck is with the label? This is hideous. <laughs> yeah. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Hundred bucks. <laughs> I oh hate this. Oh, look at that Batman eighty nine. What? Yeah, but they're best offers. So I wonder. Oh, this is a sealed two pack. Wonder what's on the other side. Oh, let's see that. This could be one of those like. Oh, oh yeah. Kind of cool though. I mean, I have the three pack of this. Yeah, what? but I don't think this has value. I mean, because Batman Returns came in ninety two, so you're not getting anything rare here. Yeah, yeah. But who knows what they paid for it? Since eBay doesn't tell you. There are sites where you can like type it in. Yeah, I got it here. We'll see what it went for. Just being lazy. Yeah. Did that just yeah, say Thomas yeah. the Tank Engine tape? Oh, look at the Scream movies. The, those are Scream also with the blue covers. What those is are, that? Those are collect are they sealed? Those are sealed now. For a hundred bucks, I'll take them. Oh, wow. For three of them. Oh, it's current. So current. This one should be 300 bucks. I, I think it's $100 a piece on those. Let's see if we can find what I paid for it. Yeah, like 200 bucks. <laughs> okay. I wonder why they just put they put them up for those ridiculous amounts and then they accept such a low ball offer. I'm like, dude, I feel That's like maybe, price maybe, back in 2020. Just maybe I should have started doing that to see if somebody buys it. I can't do it though because I feel bad for ripping somebody off. <laughs> and that one went for a grand. A little bit more reasonable. Still pretty. Yeah, there's, there's oh, like six of them. <laughs> there's no way somebody paid that much for these. This is gonna be like another one of the fucking fake ass Disney things. Like, there's no way. Yeah, what do you know about that, David? Like, are these you think these are fake or somebody made a mistake or what's what do you think? Know. There's a lot of idiots, you know, like. Just around. I mean, I feel like certain tapes, like Veggie Tales, like there's for that that are like yeah, stupid. those can go for money. Yeah, like, yeah, like, like that Thomas. Thomas, like, they can go for money, but if you add them all up, okay, maybe I'm wrong. This is fucking bizarre. Oh, cars. There's the one. That's JP favorite tape. Mine, no, mine's a uh, Jaws the. Rainbow Black label. Whoa! What? Oh, that's crazy! Look at those wizards. Uh... Yeah, what is that? It's a whole lot of them. A whole lot of the wizards. So this person probably worked at the studio, or he has some kind of connection to the movie. Betamax lot. Are See, this is what you can see a lot of in those. If you look at the the stuff that this seller is selling, Maya, he he sells the script. Also, he has the script for the movie. He has mm. things connected to the movie. Wow, I wonder why he just chose to sell them as a whole lot instead of listing them individually. Yeah, because if one of these goes into auction, they might get you know high price alone in one. People are so late. You know what I mean? Like the time that it takes to break that down, six individual. Yeah, that's true. Lazy. Yeah, they're not they're not Betamax though. Like those two are that one's a beta. One Betamax, right? Yeah. But the rest look like VHS. Yeah, look, VHS, VHS, those two definitely are. The beta is, is the reverse with VHS. It's actually rare to see 89's Betamaxes versus huh. 81. See, I don't think that those are even the first release of it though. Oh, like, look at David. Rocky three. Yeah. But uh I oh, no, not gummo. I think I sold that. Oh, I hate gummo so much. You don't like that one, Mike? I fucking hate gummo. <laughs> hate Fuck Charles for telling me about gummo and I was like, oh I'm gonna watch it. It's not a good movie. Fuck gummo. A happy nice movie or something. It's just fucking bizarre and nonsense. And like basically, um, you know, I feel like some people are like Oh, this is such a horrifying film because these kids grow up in this, you know, poor area where they shoot cats for fun and everyone's a drug addict. And I'm like, yeah, sounds like West Virginia. I've lived here my whole life. <laughs> like, thank you very much. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's fucking bizarre, though. It's gross and bizarre. I hate Gummo. What's the weirdest or more bizarre movie that you've ever seen, Jackson, David, 
that you remember? Bizarre movie. Like for Maya Gamma, yeah, I agree. That's definitely a weird movie. Yo, There's like a scene where his mom's washing his hair in this dirty bathtub and he's like eating spaghetti in the fucking tub. I just want to vomit every... Ugh, I hate it. I hate it so much. I'm trying to think. Yo, I never told you, Pablo, about the one from like a group. It was like a snuff film. Oh. Like, I'm not even kidding, right? So like in those groups, you know, like you get to deal with these people a lot. You just, you know, swap trip tapes, sell tapes, whatever. In the heyday of all of that, I even... And it's got like a Polaroid picture on the cover of it. So it kind of looks like a bootleg almost. And it doesn't really have a name, what I remember. And I watch it 30 minutes long. It's on a, a video eight camera, like straight up. And it's literally a young girl being filmed in a hotel room, getting like tortured and murdered. And then it just cut Oh my out. God. Yeah. And I, That's a crime. Like, <laughs> like so, selling it in itself is a crime. So like I hit a who sent it to me, and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, yo, I, I don't want to own this. I want to have it in my possession. Like, what is it? He's like, yo, I felt the same way. That's why I passed it on to you. And I was like, really, bro? Like, the fuck? I did the same thing. I passed it on for, um, to another dude in a group, like a fire station. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, oh, I, I know nothing else about it, but like, I don't know if it's real or not, but like, that's the most fucked up I've ever seen. Dude, that's scary as fuck. It's a movie with Nicolas Cage called A Millimeters. And yeah, I, that, but the real version. Yeah, so that's why it reminds me of that movie with Nicolas Cage. I don't know why it's scarier because it's on VHS. Because I always make the joke that, like, millennials, a lot of us are just, like, uh, got desensitized because, like, the age of personal computers and access to the internet was introduced to us at, like, our preteens. So a lot of us watched a lot of really gruesome graphic uh, shit on the internet that we definitely should have been watching. But, like, the internet was like the wild, wild west in those days. You know what I mean? Like, just see yeah. whatever you want to see. Like, so yeah. Uh, but it somehow, it seems far scarier on a VHS tape. I think for me it was, uh, I mean, there's a lot of bizarre, weird movies, but it's one movie called Boarding House. You remember that one, David? Yeah. Shot, shot on video. That's a weird movie, man. I was guest as the big box, like version of it. Yeah, it's like the, 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 the woman like coming out of a bed or somebody is grabbing her. It's a great cover, like Paragon Pictures. Yeah. And then the, the back cover is the guy looking at something. And, and that's they say that's the first movie release they filmed shot on video. Um, sealed? One seal? Yeah, you ever see that? Not sealed, no. Nothing never. from Paragon. I've never seen a Paragon seal. Oh, Jason Dyer would know what that, that is. He was always a big, like uh, the Paragons. Yeah. Hmm. What about horror, Maya? Like, what what's the last good horror movies that you've seen in on VHS or in the movie theater? Hmm. You know, everybody's freaking out about those X movies and Pearl, and uh, they were all right. And I also watched Smile. I didn't think it was bad, but Barbarian, I feel like, was disappointing. I don't know. Wasn't a big fan of that. They tried to do like three movies into one. I mean, I felt like it, there, it was one thing at the beginning of the movie, and then it turned into something else. Yeah. Oh, what a barbarian. Yeah. It was yeah, I felt that way too. It was. Uh, they they got me though. I uh, I was more shocked that Bill Skarsgård's in it, and like spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen it, he's not the bad guy. Like as soon as I met him, I'm like, oh, here's the, here's the guy. Like Bill Skarsgård, you're the bad guy every time, and he yeah. wasn't. Yeah. Jackson. I'm going to see 65 this upcoming week. Is that with the Adam Driver? Yes, it's a dinosaur horror movie. So, really excited to see this. Dinosaur horror dinosaur movie. Horror movie. Okay. Yep. Yeah, for me, I went to see Scream actually on, on Thursday. Good. Yeah, if you're a fan of the franchise, I think I think uh, Scream is, is a, it's, it's not my favorite franchise, of course, but it's just. Most of the movies are, are definitely four out of five stars for me. I, I enjoy the formula. What yeah, about dude, you? Uh, 2022, yeah. I feel like, was a big year for horror. Actually. Oh, yeah. And this year, again, it's going to be... Scream was solid. Now, if you look at the reviews and Rotten Tomatoes or IMDb, it had great reviews. Um, Evil Dead, uh, the new Evil Dead comes next month. That looks amazing. And then The, the Exorcist also comes this year. The remake, so some interesting horror movies to see. 
I'm so fucking bad. I'm so fucking bad about new movies. I was trying to see what movies I've watched recently because I, I, I don't know if you guys use Letterbox, but I use Letterbox all the time. Yeah. It's like an app where you can log the movies that you watch or make watch lists of stuff. And then like other people make lists. They're like, oh, if you like this movie, you should try these movies. And I'm fucking addicted to it. Mm. So next time, Maya, put put on the screen your Letterbox uh, list and then we'll, we'll look. Oh, yeah. Wait, I think I can do that real quick. I have the app of it, but let me see if I can log into it on my desktop. I watched the uh, the China Syndrome because I know this is like the most bizarre thing to be interested in, but I have an obsession with like movies that deal with nuclear power. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like I love Chernobyl shit. I've watched so many Chernobyl documentaries. I'm obsessed. Do you guys watch that one, the HBO one? Uh, I, they told me it's amazing, so I need to watch that. What? Yeah, that? I did watch it. Yeah, what? that's what got me on the kick of it was I saw it on HBO and started watching that one. And then I've watched so many of them now since then. I had to put that on my bucket list. Like I want to go to Russia and you can visit the, the site, but you have to pay money. And then always you have to wear a suit because of the, yeah. the radioactive still there. It's crazy. Yeah, Chernobyl's fucking nuts. If they make money off of tourism off that. <laughs> Yeah, they do. That's crazy. Wild. Russians don't give a f. No, they don't. They don't just shit. They will charge you. You want to go in there? Go. Just pay us. You got anything mm -hmm. there, David? What, what's uh? What have you been buying, amigo? Paperbacks, like always. Anything good? Yeah, I got some stuff. I always. Yeah. Show us, show us one or two real quick. Let me see. That's the worst lighting in there. I feel like I'm supposed to put this phone like not this way, like sideways. I don't want to fuck, fuck it up already. Like, what is the, what is your raccoon pet? I, I thought it was going to jump on your back. No, he's in the other room. The taxidermic. <laughs> like, oh! So, so since this is a VHS show, right? Like that That's like can't hardly wait. The tie-in for it. So, like, I think I said this last time on the show, like, make, like, these movie tie-ins, you know, for almost any single movie that's out there, like. Oh, that's a good one. Casino? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I love it. Yep. And they come out to this day, I mean, public, but then you get the real cool shit like this. Oh, that's a good one. Maya, look. Halloween. First hey. That's a beauty. Ooh, it is cool. And you get them because they have, like, different covers than the actual, you know, like, VHS tapes do. Oh, that one, that one, thank me. Um, you know, that one is what's kind of like, um, is that Halloween 2? Yeah, it's part two. Now, when you see the story on the inside, David, is that from the movie, like the same plot as Halloween yeah. 2, or, or there are differences? No, I mean, it's like almost literally identically adapted from like scene for scene shot, like dialogue all <laughs> out of well, it. That's, that's pretty cool, yeah, but it's not yeah. like, like a movie script, it's just... No, it's an actual novel. All right. I found it. I got it figured yeah. out. List. Oh, look at that list. Dude, I got so many. Like, I got like four pages. But a lot of it's just like nonsense shit that like everyone's seen. You know what I mean? Um, what? This is two watches? No, this is the stuff I've already watched and reviewed. I'm trying to find my. Oh, here's my watch oh, list. 1917 or, or on the. Wow. So this watch. is the shit I got on my watch list. I'm excited. Oh, Have you guys seen The Lighthouse? No, I haven't. Dude, everybody keeps telling me to watch The Lighthouse. Oh, I did watch Inglorious Bastards recently. I loved it. I heard The Lighthouse is, like, slow, though. It's a witch movie. Ah, uh, dude, I fucking hate slow movies. <laughs> me too. Uh. You're trying to sell me that one with the, the witch, you know, and then the hereditary and... Hereditary. I like hereditary. Yeah, that was a little better than that witch yeah, I don't know. I've got a lot of shit on here too that like I've seen, but it's been so Wait, long since seen I've seen Alien? it. I gotta rewatch it. No, I've never yeah. seen Alien. Never oh, seen Alien. Aliens, the second one is better in my opinion. It is. You can take that one out over there. Yeah. That's yeah, a yeah. burn. There's definitely some. Uh... Yeah, the game does a good oh, one. Right. Like, I don't scream. Never what? seen the Scream. You, you haven't sit down and watch The Fly with Pablo. The Fly, yeah. Never you seen got, it. Uh, the Howling, that's a classic. Video yeah, dude, there's so much shit. Street video Trash, never seen it. Street Trash, that's why. It's, it's I have video violence, too. I have it on VHS, but I paid so much for it. I'm scared <laughs> to put it in my VCR. Do you have it handy over there, or no? It's in the other room. Yeah, I can grab it, though. Yeah, let's see the cover, because on VHS looks amazing. Oh, Psycho's in love. 
Do you have some of these on paperbacks, David? Like, uh, do you have the chainsaw hookers? So is that on paperback? No. I wish it was. Chili the camp? No. Like, like a lot of a lot of the obscure ones do actually yeah. or yeah. but that, a lot of them they don't. I mean, it's hit or miss. Yeah, like video violence, the one that Maya has, or or you know, even killer clowns from outer space. That would be cool to have on paperback. Yeah, nothing like that. It's gonna be all the more <laughs> ones. Oh hell yeah! Look at that. Up here, hold on. Drag a, myself over here. Oh, that's an expensive tape, guys. Open. Yeah. It goes for a lot of money. Yeah, see, this one is open. How much? Can... Oh, I was gonna say that one looks sealed. It's not. It's in a plastic case because I can't so much. Have you seen the tape on the inside? Does it have a white label or a gold label, Maya? You know what? I think this one has a gold label. That's legit. The first release. No, no. This one has a white. This one has a white. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. You want the one for for collectors that they pay a little more with the gold label, but the white label is fine. It's it's good. But like change. Okay. It's, it's like that silver sticker at the bottom, Maya, that we were talking about with the Gremlins. Yeah. The gold label is definitely before the white label. I jumped on this because I've wanted to watch it and cannot find it anywhere. Like, you can't stream it. So I'm like, I have to get it on tape to watch it. And now I'm like, terrified. Because I'm like, it'll be my luck, but I will put it in my VCR and it will fucking eat it. Does it work? Oh. Yo, I, what, I, I VCR. It's a VCR, no, hey, so sometimes oh, I don't fucking know. I haven't put it in there. I'm scared. But you know, sometimes like Jackson has a good point. You you have to watch the whole thing because sometimes it's tracking issues. I sometimes know. obviously it's just like mold, but sometimes it has tracking. Some sections of the tape are all messed up because people rewind it, fast forward for to watch the same scene the, mm -hmm. many times. So yeah, you you have to watch the whole thing to make sure it plays all the way. I gotta switch out my VCRs for sure. I've been watching like so many random tapes in it, but then like my my you know what I mean, like my prized open stuff. I'm like scared to put in it because it, it's finicky. Like eighty percent of the time, it's cool. That other twenty percent of the time, it's like I'm gonna destroy this and everything that you love. By the way, you two, Jackson and Maya, you guys are young, so make sure to clean the heads of the VCR once in a while. So you need a head cleaner. Don't don't watch all these tapes without cleaning those heads on the VCR because then you're gonna have problems. Mm -hmm. So you could do that. Like I don't do it because I'm lazy, but I mean that is the one part not like cleaning mold that is kind of simple. You know, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think if you remove, but you, that is if you, if you have the VCR, not the combo though. So I, I guess you can do it with the combo too, but it's complicated. But if you have just the VCR, you can remove the top and yeah, you can clean it with. Yeah. Uh, this, this is a process, but if you have a, a you know, just a tape that cleans the, the, the magnetic tapes, that, that also will do it. The magnetic heads, yeah. Oh, I forgot that Comic, Comic Connect has an option up right now, too. Yeah, any good tapes? Let me see. Venus 19, yo, 85. That was your, your book, right, David? No, I didn't have an A5, but. I think I still got two days on them. Yeah, two days. None of this stuff looks great. No. No. Literally, like, all trash. Debbie, Debbie goes What's to this? Dallas. Let's go. This right. one's tricky. But Debbie goes to Dallas? Mikey will buy Debbie goes to Dallas. Oh, my God. That's a porno movie. I I am getting that. Oh, but this is a Spanish version. Oh, ones too. Like, for dude, I've I've got some sealed fucking Playboys and different. I think I got a Pamela Anderson one in there somewhere, or a um. Well, look, that's a good question. Like, uh, uh people ask me, like, are they like, uh, you know, adult VHS or? I think they will be. <laughs> the one that really sell is the Tracy Lords. You know, Tracy Lords was huge in the 90s so if you get the first tracy lords yo uh, that's like the parody ones they're like there's like dozens of like parody ones of i like, love yeah. them i love the parody ones yeah like there's like one i don't remember what it's called i think it's called like butt man or something but the guy on the tape is dressed like a really bad batman and i'm like i need that in my life yeah <laughs> i yes. love it that's the beauty of VHS, like some obscure oddball titles that... Oh, The Godfather. The Godfather, but this is, like what, like 
It's not with the with 1990s, the so no. Yeah, these are like all trash. Trash. What are you doing, Comic Connect? They know what they're doing. Ooh, this one's kind of cool. It's already at 280. All right. All right. I like that. That one's for my yeah, then. Yep, for me. Let's see what else? What is this? It's all green. Age Frankenstein. Now, no, why does it say 10% premium, but some say 15% premium? What? I don't know. On the He-Man, it says 10%, but on, like, the Halloween, it says 15%. Because yeah. it's a Betamax. Maybe Betamax, is, you get... It's not a VHS. It's a Betamax, right? Yeah, but This why one would, is. Yeah. The beta is 10%. The VHS I, is 15 Why would that have anything to do with the buyer's yeah. Because Betamax is garbage, David. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's definitely this is the discussion maybe maybe you give me your take david but in simple terms for me personally i i grew up with vhs so it would always be vhs for me but betamax you know it has a, if it has the same cover like let's say that karate kid 2 over there it's the same cover in betamax so you know uh, i'll take it but vhs should be more valuable in my opinion I don't know. I, mean, I bought some comics on that site, and sometimes they even charge a buyer's premium at all. They don't? On some. It could have been Vincent's himself, the <laughs> owner. of. Oh, I like that one, the Ninja 3, the Domination. Oh, yeah. has, I think I got one of these. It has a hot tub scene where she goes, and it's a guy with two girls. Look at that Pokemon. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah, look at the price difference, because this one has a sticker. There's a mini comic inside this one. Well, one's a 9.5. <laughs> Awesome. Slight, yeah, but look at how massive our price difference yeah. is. It's just for a slight grade difference. It's got to be because it's got a little comic in this one. So can we click on that one, Maya? So you you knew like, that. So yeah, that's there's good. a mini comic inside this one. Oh, okay, that's for cool. the Pokemon fans, that's good to know. I didn't know that one with the sticker. No. That's a comic yeah, box. yeah, that's what it says. That's what the sticker says. Free no. mini comic inside. So no wonder why that thing comes. Um, Peewee, didn't one of the Peewee sold on eBay for twelve hundred? It looks like they're the same. It's the same as all with the stars. Well, the sticker. back's different, though. The See, back the back is different. Ah. Totally different. I wonder what the one I have is. How much does that Pokemon go for? Well, the one, you know, when you see the sticker, you know, like Maya, you have it with, without the, the, the little booklet, right? No, I have it with the <laughs> little comic. Oh, nice. Look at you. Oh, wow. So you want to have the one that Maya has with that little sticker? That makes it Now I know. Deal. Now I know, too. I didn't know that. Yeah, I had no idea. I just thought they were all just whatever. Me, too. And I can't believe they're going for this much because, again, this is like 98. So I don't know why it's it was that high. Technically, but... Charizard is very popular in the Pokemon card world. So, so that's probably going to be the only one that's yeah. ever worth a damn. Yeah. Well, the Blastoise <laughs> one goes for a little bit one, too. But not like the Charizard one. Oh yeah, look at all these too. These are all clamshells. Strange. Do you have What's paperbacks or, or Pokemon, David? No, no. Yeah, there's paperbacks of that shit. Wow. <laughs> I don't. I don't have them. It's not my fault. It's, it's just so mass produced. I can't imagine oh, well, it would be worth anything. Ten on one of those. Oh, there's the Blastoise one. But... Oh yeah, right there, ten. There's the Blastoise. That one I mean, Red Sonia for sure. If he has white white watermarks, I love Red Sonia. Oh yeah, That's a rare I one. bet it does. Do this Nielsen, the yeah. ex girlfriend of Sylvester Stallone. It do be having white watermarks, Pablo. Just one, it looks like though. Just one stamped on there, which Just is bizarre. One watermark, but, but again, I I think it's legit. I did hear that there's a lot of fake uh, reseals out there. Yes, from IGS today. Yeah, well, I don't know why they're saying that, though. Like, I feel like that's a great marketing campaign. Hey, we know about a lot of these fake tapes that are going around. Please send new tapes to us to grade. Like, all right. Well, that, I mean, you know what I'm saying? How do you see that for, for, the, for the hobby, Jackson? Like, what do you think that somebody tries or, or, or are they trying to make a copy, a seal, or reseal tapes? What's your take oh. on that? Yeah, so well, what according to them, they're they're claiming that some people are taking off original seals with watermarks and putting them on a different tape. Mm. So, I mean, I, I see it as a marketing standpoint, but I understand 
you know, if you have a very high end tape that's worth a lot of money, you should get it graded no matter what. It doesn't matter the grading company. <gasps> Whoa, that's pretty cool. True Romans, that's your tape, David. Yeah, but it's not the good one. The one I just sent you earlier, I told you to find. Yeah, it's like a screener, right? Yeah. It's almost like, why do you have an amazing Fantasy 15 raw at a show? That's just not smart. Yeah. Dude, no way. Oh, these are buy it now. I'm like, no one is paying that for a fucking Blazing Saddles. Asper? <laughs> That's a promo. That's a like screener, right? Yeah. That's Casper? For a screener of Casper? No way. Come on. Why would they? Oh, my God. Where did they get these prices from? They could be consignments, too. They are oh consignments. The and they just set these high prices and they're not going to get that for any of this shit. Like that Temple of Doom is running for me. I'm waiting for someone to buy that. What'd you say about it, Pablo? But the Temple of Doom, that's that's a common, I mean, tape. You can go on eBay right now and probably buy two or three under a thousand of that one. Right, yeah. Evil Dead, that's a, that's definitely a good one, but it's, it's not the original. The original is a clamshell, so this is the first uh, slipcase release. Yeah, I think people might like it for that uh that bloody sticker. That's pretty cool, but ain't nobody paying seventy five thousand dollars for that. <laughs> like, get out of here. Especially oh, well, that temple of doom tape. One just sold for two grand, a nine five. Oh, I yeah. just don't know where people get the prices for some of this shit. It's like, I, dude, well, those have been there since this past summer. Um, they, that know, they is where like, they will continue to stay. <laughs> look at that Rambo. The Rambo is a trailer. It's not even the movie. That's Whoa, just, that's weird. Two and a half minutes if you open it. That's a three minute tape. Wait, it's three I minutes. I kind of like this. Though. It's a great cover, but it's a trailer. Oh. Uh -oh. That's a trailer, guys. But the cover is great. And uh, for the Sylvester Stallone fan, I mean, definitely a really great cover, but it's not the movie, it's just the trailer. Eight thousand dollars. You got that on you? Not for the garbage. No. How about no? But anyway, guys, that's our um, hour mark. So I guess we'll wrap it up here. Um, do you guys have any parting thoughts? David, where the hell's Mike? <laughs> I don't know. He's been silent over the last couple of weeks. Silent. Get the ass up on you. Jackson. Um. Not much to say. Uh, just always looking out for tapes on, you know, the internet and at sh uh, local shows. Oh, you have that Gremlins on you? Oh, you just bought it, right? So you don't have any hand there? No, it hasn't came in yet. I'm really excited about that. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, if anything, I think the moral of today's episode was uh, seeing that tape that got pulled down on eBay and the guy said he found it at a Goodwill outlet yeah. store. Like, don't stop looking. Apparently, they are out there. Yeah, I don't know. It's going pop up on eBay. In New York or the Carolinas or Virginia, here in California, there's a lot of outlets uh, for goodwill. But you see a lot of people, and then they bring these bins. Everybody jumps. Uh, they're definitely looking for vintage shirts, you know, and, and design. Vintage clothes, yeah, they're a huge market. That's crazy. I don't know that. <laughs> Even the Metallica shirt, like you remind me with that Metallica shirt. Like if you have original Metallica shirts from the 90s, they go for $300. What? I know, dude. I'm so mad at my mom. You know, when I was a kid, my mom used to dye her hair in her Metallica t-shirts and shit. Like, you were born, you Jackson and Maya. You were born in the '90s. Like, if you find shirts from that era that I was wearing, uh, original, they have to have a tag, and you need to know what you're looking for. It's like everything. You need to be sure that this is authentic, and if they have, um, and you can see the wear on the shirt. And you have a, a, an original Metallica shirt or, or Slayer, you know, or, or, or Tupac. Those go for Nirvana is huge, like $300, $400, $500 a that's piece. That's ridiculous. No, I know, but yeah, that's you know, for, the, for the millennials, and, and you had that, it's an extra thing to have that, uh, that vintage look. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, with that, let me roll our outro here. Thank <laughs> you.